Hey guys, welcome back to another color grading tutorial. Now today we're going to be bringing back one of the old classics, one of the old videos that did incredibly well on our channel. It's the how to edit like Brandon Werfel. Um, so for those of you who don't know, that video was um, probably the video that actually made us um, what we are at the moment. Um, so if you are new around here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, would love to see you around. So we're going to be editing this photo in Lightroom. Now if you did any of the artists of this photo, do let me know and I will of course uh, tag them in the description. Um, but without any further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. So first of all, I'm going to walk you through what we're going to be doing and then you can kind of wait to the end to see some of the secrets and hidden tips that I'm going to give you on how he gets his really soft, cool colors. So first things first, we're going to be working through the basics panel and then we're going to go into the HSL sliders and get those colors. We'll probably come back to the tone curve right at the end just because it's quite important. So if you want to see that, stick around until the end. Okay, so if you want to see any more details on how to edit photos really well or how to kind of pick apart speed. So, without wanting to bore you too much, very kind of flat, they're not overly saturated, um, but they have that kind of very distinctive, soft looking pastel feel to it. So that's what we're going to be doing there. Taking the contrast down, we're going to increase the exposure, and then we're going to just add a tiny bit of contrast in with the whites and the blacks like that. Okay, then we're going to come down to the clarity and we're going to drop that ever so slightly. We're going to go to the dehaze tool and we're going to drop that as well. That's going to add in some of those soft tones in there, the sort of pastel look that we're getting in his photos. So that's kind of what we're going to do with the basic slider. If anything, we might actually sort of boost the vibrance and drop the saturation a little bit because his photos are saturated, but they're not overly saturated. Now, one thing you'll notice if you look through Brandon Werthel's photos is he has a lot of teals and a lot of pink. So we've added in some blue with the temperature, but we're also going to add in a little bit more magenta into the photo as well. Talk about how we can change the colors and um, kind of really emulate his look. Now, like I said at the beginning, if you are interested in learning a lot more detail on why we make certain adjustments here and how we can kind of go into more detail with edits and get some really cool looks and vibes and create your own theme, sort of dismantle other people's styles and really kind of create your own theme from that, that's best to go check out our course because I just don't have enough time to go through it in this video today. Um, what we are gonna do is, because a lot of Brown and Werfel's photos are sort of teal colored, I'm going to show you how you can get that real subtle teal coloured vibe going. First things first, we're going to get the red slider, drop the saturation in the reds, same for the oranges, same for the yellows and the greens, kind of getting, uh, sorry, his tealy blues and his pinks. Uh, obviously some of his other photos don't have those sort of colours, um, but because we're going for a sort of pinky vibed photo, that's what we're going for. So the reds, I'm going to increase the luminance and this is just going to add, um, one thing I like to think about here is like this and also you can check our course as well. So increase the saturation on the split toning. We can now mess around with the highlights um, and also the shadows. So if you press option or alt on your idea on what sort of edits you can get, uh, if you want to go ahead and grab our presets as well, those links are in the description. But what I want to do now is kind of add something a little bit more different kind of spice it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is you can go to file and export your photo. I'm just going to, just to make my life easy and simple, I'm just going to screenshot it off here. But if I were you, definitely export it as the highest res photo you can. Um, I'm then going to, you're going to get some really weird vibes going on. Um, now you've got two options here. One, you can leave the colors. Yeah, do smash the thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a comment of any ideas you want for future videos because we are kind of running out of ideas at the moment. Um, trying to get back onto this YouTube game posting loads of videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can go ahead, check out our course if you want to go check out that. Uh, follow us on Instagram, the links are all down below in the description. And if you do know who took this photo, the artist, please let me know in the comments and I will of course tag them and do all the necessary stuff in the description. I just couldn't find out the artist that took this photo. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next